the immunity to intercellular bacteria. Power presents by Medical Technology Third Year Student, Mahidon University. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rod. I'm Kokai. Hey, Rod. What's up today? Hey, man. We are going to show everyone about immune system to intracellular bacteria. That sounds interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Are you intracellular bacteria? How different from extracellular bacteria? All right. Let me explain about this. I and my friends can infect human and cause a range of disease. We have ability to erase from host phagocytes by avoiding phagocytosis and resisting to lysosomal enzyme. Eventually, we can multiply in phagocytes and insect nearby cells. So cool, right? Wow! You know my friend, Salmonella typhi. Nicelium meningitis. Listeria monocytogenes. Oh, by the way, I am mycobacterium tuberculosis. Oh, it's so creepy. Imagine those bacteria are inside the body. What did you say, Kokai? You are bacteria too. Oh, oh, you are right. However, the human body has an immune system as a soldier to protect and prevent human body from the bacteria. Yeah, let me say, I'm gonna use you microbacterium tuberculosis. You cause tuberculosis or TB disease as a model for combating intracellular bacteria. All right, let's forget the first line of barrier. Its physical barrier such as mucus, cilia, sweat, and fatty acid. MTB can get into our body by inhalation of an air droplet containing bacteria. Once the bacterium reaches the lung, the first innate immune cell encounters the bacterium is the resident alveolar macrophage. How do you know when MTB get into the body? There are pattern recognition receptor such as scavenger and manual receptor recognize pumps on the bacteria surface and eventually attempt to kill the bacteria by the process called phagocytosis. Meanwhile, phagocytes also recognize pumps via signaling PRR such as toad like receptor 249. The PRR which resulting in the producing pro inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. These soluble mediators involve the recruiting of various immune cells. But known as intracellular bacteria, so they have ability. Hey, 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 I know, I know. They have ability to survive and stay inside macrophage. The mechanism to avoid phagocytosis are as following. Intimate formation of phagosome and lysosome. Second, even from the phagolysosome to cytoplasm. And the last way is inhibit generation of free radical oxygen and nitrogen species. And macrophages also request for help by secret cytokines such as interleukin 12, which drives native CD4 to TM1 subpopulation. Yes! Alright! And you know, now the brains of immune system come in the retic cell. Then retic cell uptake MTB from the site of infection and migrate to the nearby draining lymph node and trigger the adaptive immune response by present 
MTB peptide VAMHC2 2 T helper 1 specific T cell receptor on naive CD4 T cell. The activation of naive T cell to be T helper 1 require at least two signals. Hey, Rod, do you know about those signals? Of course, T cells already have interleukin 12 from microphone. MHC rodin peptide and T-cell receptor complex. Another one is co-stimulatory molecules and their receptors. Once naive T-cell get activating signals, it will activate chrono expression and differentiate into t helper one cell. This cell produces a signature cytokines R, interleukin-2, and interferon gamma. Interleukin-2 is an autocrine that can trigger t helper one proliferation, and interferon gamma is known to activate macrophage. t helper one is recruited back to the rungs and help macrophage to kill the bacterium and infected cells. And you know, at the same time, T helper 1 also activate B cell to differentiate and proliferate to plasma cell. Plasma cells produce antibody. The antibody may help combat intracellular bacteria via several ways. For example, opsonization is process in which antibody binding with specific antigen and the FC molecule binds to FC receptor of phagocytes using FC portion which help promote phagocytosis. Antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity is like opsonization, but FC receptor on NK cells will help promote cytolysis. Hey, why you stay here now? You should already die. Like you know, some of my friends will die, but I'm still alive. And what's going on? The host immune response can induce the granuloma formation. Hmm? What's granuloma? Granuloma formation is a process to limit the area of the infection and prevent spreading of MTB to other normal cells. The granuloma is a sign of cell mediated immune response. MTB induces a typical granuloma called Kenchis necrosis or cheese line necrosis. Uh, I'm trapped inside the granuloma. Please, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> Let me continue. This is the picture of granuloma, and this one shows the cases of cheese like necrosis. When the immune is in a weak condition, such as HIV infected individuals, granuloma will break down and the pathogen will come out and cause the disease. I'm back. Let's say goodbye to everyone. Bye.